Coming up on this week's episode, the men's soccer team traveled to Kansas City to take on Rockers for the Midwest Regional Finals. The women's basketball team hosted their home opener against Indianapolis, and the men's basketball team had a pair of non-conference games. Timberwolves Weekly starts now. On Friday, men's soccer took on Rockhurst in the Midwest Regional Finals. Soccer was coming off their first ever win in the NCAA tournament the previous weekend to advance to the Elite Eight. Let's take a look at how men's soccer did in the round of 16 match against the Hawks. So the best season in Northwood men's soccer history came to an end with a 2-1 loss to Rockhurst in the round of 16 of the 2015 NCAA men's soccer tournament. Northwood fell behind 1-0 early on, but Keaton Levick scored his 12th goal of the year to level the game in the 16th minute. Rockhurst then scored in the 28th minute to earn the 2-1 win. Northwood had plenty of chances in the second half, but were unable to capitalize. Northwood finishes their season 17-2-1 overall. An excellent season for Northwood men's soccer. Congratulations to Doug Carter and the team. Also a huge congratulations to Johannes Starobo, who was named the Cosida Academic All-American of the Year for D2 men's soccer. He was the first to do this in Northwood history, and he is also the first first-team Academic All-American since 2000. Women's basketball hosted their home opener on Saturday against Indianapolis. Northwood was looking for their second win of the season. Let's see how the Timberwolves did against the Greyhounds. Northwood improved to 2-1 and one on the season with a 69-60 win over Indianapolis on Saturday afternoon. The Timberwolves overcame 38% shooting from the floor thanks to committing only 9 turnovers in the contest compared to 21 for Indianapolis. Jordan Nuremberg continued the strong start to her junior season. She finished with 15 points and 14 rebounds for her third straight double-double. Lauren Roback had 14, while Maddie Seeley had 13 for the Timberwolves. A great win for the Timberwolves against an in-region opponent. Northwood will now travel to Alaska for a three-game series. Men's basketball played a pair of non-conference games over the weekend, first playing at Cedarville before hosting Lewis. Let's check out how the men did. Men's basketball team opened their week of action with a 77-56 road win at Cedarville. After missing their first 10 shots of the game, Northwood's offense got going the rest of the opening half, shooting 57% from the floor for the rest of the half and finishing at 46% overall for the game. Four Timberwolves in double figures led by Jermaine Myers off the bench with 18 points. Maurice Jones with a double-double, 11 points, 10 assists. The Timberwolves then dropped at a dramatic 99-95 contest to Lewis on Tuesday night at the Bennett Center. Northwood shot 48% from the floor, but watched Lewis shoot almost 60% from the floor in the game. The Flyers also made 17 three-pointers in the game, highlighted by Max Struess's 52-point performance with 12 three-pointers. Maurice Jones had another great performance for Northwood in that game, 31 points, 10 assists while Charlie Ryan had a career-high 17 points in a start for the Timberwolves. Men's basketball will be off for the rest of this week for Thanksgiving break, but we'll be back on December 3rd for the GLIAC home opener. A light week of events for Northwood Athletics. The women's basketball team travels to Alaska for a three-game series. So the women's basketball team is the only squad in action this week for Northwood. The Timberwolves travel to Fairbanks, Alaska to take part in the North Star Invitational. Northwood will start play with an in-region game against Wisconsin Parkside Thursday at 5 o'clock. Then Friday at 5 o'clock, Northwood will face Sonoma State before finishing the tournament by playing host Alaska Fairbanks at 7 p.m. on Saturday. All of those times are Eastern time. Now let's check out your Athletes of the Week. Our Men's Athlete of the Week is Johannes Starobo from the men's soccer team. He earned one of the highest honors any Northwood athlete has ever received by being named the Cosida Academic All-American of the Year for Division II men's soccer this season. Johannes holds eight Northwood goalkeeping records and was a key part of Northwood's tremendous 2015 season. Our Women's Athlete of the Week for the second straight week is Jordan Nuremberg from the women's basketball team. Jordan posted her third straight double-double to open this season against Indianapolis, finishing with team highs in points with 15 and rebounds with 14. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Timberwolves Weekly. I'm Olivia Grahowski. And I'm Jessica McNeil. See you next week. Remember, keep fighting and go mad.